everyone um, we'll come back again to so today in this tutorial we will learn how to print a multiplication number depending according to the number entered by the uh, user in a prompt dialog box so uh, before we get started let me show an example so first of all when we run our javascript code it will give us a prompt um, alert box after that for example if you want to find a multiplication table of 10 let's say we have uh, entered 10 out here after that if we click ok the uh, multiplication number for 10 will get printed so uh, to do this one we will be uh, we will try to display our output uh, using a table uh, like this so let's go out here and then let's start uh, uh, writing our JavaScript so first of all we have to let's declare our uh, document type HTML okay so let's um, say this is a body so you can write your javascript code inside um, your html page uh, i know we're inside your html page so let's uh, try to write inside here inside our heading deck so first of all to create that we have to declare uh, create a variable after that let's uh, give this variable name as a num okay so after that first of all what we have to do is we have to set that prompt alert box and then whatever the value the user have entered in that prompt dialog box that value will be get stored inside our variable num so um, uh, let's say enter a number okay let's make it short like this enter a number so when uh, we first execute our javascript code the first thing it will get executed is this prompt dialog box and then inside this prompt dialog box whatever the value the user have entered that value will be stored in our variable now all right after that let's uh, declare one more variable and then let's name it as a i so this uh, this variable they are used for uh, to create this multiplication table after that let's um, since we want to display our output inside the table first of all what we have to do is we have to create a table so let's write document to write after that let's start our table so don't forget to give a single condition right now if we give a double condition it will become a string and then it will be it will not display our table so make sure you you give a single condition out here after that table and after that let's give a border if we did not give any border it will not it will be borderless so let's give a border after that let's give a cell spacing as a tree so try to play around with these uh, numbers after that let's close our single quotation out here after that let's close this one so this particular line tr tr used to create our table now after that using for loop let's start to print our multiplication table so for out here so let's initialize this value so for i is equal to one so since we want to print our multiplication table is starting from one just like inside our example so if you want to start printing from zero you can initialize this one from zero so if you want to start your multiplication table from five you can initialize the variable i from five and so on 
so uh, let's make it zero after that let's see if the condition out here i is smaller than 10 and then i plus plus so out here since if you want to bring the multiplication table up to 10 give it 10 so like until the until the value of i is smaller than the smaller than 10, it will keep on executing now uh, it will keep on looping the for loop after that after each loop it will increment the value of i by one so let's give it equal to out here so out here in in our uh, in our example this is printed only till nine so if you want to print it till 20 you can give 20 out here or if you want to print your multiplication table of any number from 1 to 15 you can give the value out here so let me give 10 all right so our multiplication table will get printed starting from 0 there then okay now after that to print that particular this um, multiplication table we need to create a table row and then table data so let's create table row table data after that let's give a bg color let's say let's use the same same uh, background color you can play around with this uh, color as you wish so we already have a tr and then uh, table data after that inside the table we have to print that number so first of all plus we have to call this number that means if the user have entered 10 that part it, it we are referring to that value num after that plus let's give double quotation x inside the double quotation whatever we have written it will get displayed as it is so out here num plus x means this is the num this is the x and then we have to call this value again so for that one we have to call the variable i this one because for every for after each loop it will keep on incrementing the value starting from 0 1 2 3 4 and then uh, so on okay after that plus we need to give equals to right equals to after that we have to print this uh, value so we have to multiply this one and then this one so to create that one let's give one more plus num and to i so we will get that output after that let's give proper condition let's give let's close our table data after that let's close our uh, table row Okay, that's all after that we have to close our table we have to close our let's close our script I started without declaring a script deck so let's save this one and then see it if it works or not mul.html okay so instead of pink let's try green let's save it and then let's run inside our okay we are not getting our output right now is c or a b okay so let's check again okay now let's see if we insert 10 it will print starting from 
0 there then because uh, we have set a condition out here to start from 0 and then there then so uh, this is how uh, we can uh, print a multiplication table using JavaScript so thank you see you in the next class see you in the next